Hey, it's Carrie here, Get Your Vibe Right. And do you wanna know why when something is like super important to you, it often doesn't work out in your favor? <laughs> well, it all has to do with basically the law of attraction and how the universe is responding to energy, especially an excess of energy. The universe really doesn't like excess energy. It calls attention from the universe like nothing else. If you have excess energy around something, meaning that you have made it extra important, chances are the universe is going to want to neutralize that energy. Or neutralize sounds like maybe annihilate, so that's not really what I'm talking about. It wants to bring that energy back into balance. Above all, the universe strives for harmony and balance of energy. So when we have something that we are highly invested in and the stakes are really, really high, the universe sees it. It's like lighting up a huge bullseye for the universe when we make something super important. So maybe this is an interview that you have for a new job, or maybe this is somebody that you're romantically interested in that you are extra excited about and the stakes feel really, really high in whether or not that's going to work out. Maybe it's a health diagnosis and all of a sudden it's critically important that you get your health under control. Now, I know that all of these things are important, and yes, all of these things, the stakes are high. It does matter that we get the good job to turn our financial situation around. It does matter that we match up with a partner who's going to fulfill us and give more meaning to our life. It does matter to have our health be something that is more aligned with well-being than illness, of course. But when we put a lot of excess emphasis and energy into the importance of that thing, the universe takes notice. And where we are in relationship to the outcome of that situation is going to indicate how the universe is going to balance and harmonize that energy. What does that mean? It means that if I'm feeling more fear and doubt about the job interview than I am confidence and assuredness, then I've tipped the scales of my own energy towards the negative. Okay, so it's easier for the universe to balance the scales by, by sort of like making something not go well and then all of a sudden, well, that job's not important anymore because I didn't get it. I blew the interview, right? <laughs> okay, I know this seems counterintuitive, stick with me. I'll use the other example. So when you meet somebody and you get super excited about them and you think this could be the one, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. And you start to put more and more pressure on the situation, you get deeper and deeper in your longing and desire for that relationship to materialize or bloom into something that is really committed, yet your feelings around that are out of fear of rejection, I maybe am not good enough for this person, I can't lose them. All of a sudden, you've put the scales out of balance again. You're spending more time in worry and doubt than you are in excitement and eagerness. And again, the universe is like, well, hmm, what's the path of least resistance to neutralizing the excess energy around this issue? Well, it's to cr crash the situation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wish it wasn't like this. But then all of a sudden, you know, that person's no longer engaging with you or they feel the tension, they feel the negative energy you have around the situation and they cut out, right? So this is 
why it's so important to stay positive about something, but also try and stay more neutral and even and balanced about things. When we make something so important, it literally is like a beacon of light for the universe to come in and bring that balance, bring that energy back into harmony and balance. So letting go of our attachment to how things need to play out and just knowing that we're going to be okay either way. If I don't get the job, another opportunity is going to come along. If this isn't the person for me, the universe is going to line me up with somebody else that I actually don't feel so much self-doubt or fear of rejection around and things are going to be easier. The energy is going to be smoother, more harmonized, and that is going to go so much better than the current situation that I'm in. And you don't have to wait for that. You can manage that within the situation that you're in. Just know that you're going to be okay no matter what. Try not to make the stakes too high because when you do, you tip the scales in favor of things not working out the way that you want them to. If you want to tip the scales, you got to tip the scales in favor of things going really, really well. And generally the universe shows up for that too. So try and keep in mind when you get too invested in something and just have an awareness of, oh my gosh, okay, I'm, I've got a little bit too much excess energy here. I don't want the universe to come in and neutralize it in a way that's not favorable for me. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit or I'm going to really focus on the positive things so that I inform the universe on how I want things to go rather than informing it on the fear of what I don't really want. So you have full control over your energy and how you feel about things. And with intention, you can leverage things in your favor and the universe will show up and give you that. So if you like this kind of thing, stick around. I'm gonna talk more and more about the law of attraction and how you can understand energy and how to harness it to get the life that you really want. I can see the stars align. Dance around the moon every night